big question as far as the press was concerned was your pitiless taunting of this man. Well, now, how do you defend that? Well, I'll uh, defend that like this, Howie. Uh, I told the press before the fight, I asked, uh, I faced Ernie Terrell as a man, man to man, and uh, I told him that my name is uh, Muhammad Ali in the world, and people know my name is Muhammad Ali, and this was the approach, and he deliberately insulted me publicly and said my name is Cassius Clay, but it's not. The public, Judge, well, as we look at uh, the beginning of round eight, and as they see and, your behavior in the ring. And uh, I'd like to say another thing, how as far as my behavior is concerned, I'm not, uh, it takes a man to apologize when he's wrong, especially when he don't have to apologize, which I don't. But uh, I will say that the ring was no place for me to just stop fighting and start talking, as you will see earlier. And it was my manager, Herbert Muhammad's verbal punishment after the fight, uh, which uh, is making me say what I'm saying now. And that's to Ernie Terrell and to all of my sports fans that uh, if it's uh, that bad and wrong, which I know it is in a way, I do apologize for stopping and using the ring for a speaking roster when it should have been used for boxing. So that's all I can say for that. But it's done now and it's over. There he's missing jabs, as you see. There he just had his uh, palm of his glove in my face. And many people, Howie, are saying that I shouldn't have beat him like this, that I shouldn't have beat him for 15 rounds like this. And I like to say it's my job to fight. It's my job to beat him until he falls or beat him until someone stops it. If I don't, he's going to beat me. So it's the referee's job to stop the fights. And it's the judge's job, and it's the doctor's job to stash the fight if he was beat so unmerciful as the press said. There, I just hit him with a good hook. A couple of good You're hooks. screaming, what's there going on? He, he, not then, not yet. I'm saying something, but I forgot. My blood was hot. I'm a warrior. I am a fighter. And uh, it's kind of hard to hold me down when I get hot. But right now, I'm asking him, what's my name? And I think at one time, he did say Muhammad Ali. It was in a clinch. He said Muhammad Ali. I do remember hearing him saying Muhammad Ali. There I'm saying, what's my name? Which my manager, Herbert Muhammad, criticized me. We are going to skip rounds 9 through 13. These rounds were redundant in their pattern. The champion pummeling Terrell almost at will, yet not able to put him away. Joe Lewis at ringside, for instance, had said to this reporter that the ninth round would be the last. We're going to pick up with the 14th and the 15th. So I'm not for whipping him. No, but for taunting him vocally. Yeah. Do you think words of apology now can get back what you've lost in terms of image? Do you think it really makes up well, for Well, I'd say one thing. This is an awful weak, weak excuse. And I think the American public out there who witnessed this fight, who's watching this show, knows that this is an awful uh, weak excuse for the uh, press to use and not... Uh, uh, recognizing the fight as the way it was. Uh, one fella, he's either crippled or he's got a bullet in him. Uh, that's the excuse. The next fella is he was old, or the next fella, he was, uh, his arm was broke, or his back that was broke. That relates to you now as it's a my fighter. Talk, the reason for not uh, seeing the fight like it was, but I think the people who's watching the te television now can see that uh, the report that the press gave was awful uh, distorted. No. They can't see in your voice. I'm out to be cruel. That's what we're, the boxing game is about. He's out to beat me, or I'm out to beat him. And as far as the fight being cruel, as far as the fight being a cruel, brutal 15 rounds as they print it, uh, I think it's the uh, referee has the authority to stop it if it's so cruel. The judges have authority to stop it if it's so cruel. And the doctor who was in his corner at each round had the authority to stop it if it was so cruel. And if I had stopped it, it wouldn't have been legal. He would have won the fight if I had stopped. Mm -hmm. So it's my job to whip him. He should be coming up in just a second. Stop smiling. You're not so funny. <laughs> oh. 
And if you watch him, Howard, he sees all of my punches coming, and he's also punching back at me. He's following me. And I think if a man is blind, uh, he couldn't do this. So I think blindness is another excuse Terrell used for uh, losing this fight. I just hit him with a hook there. That was a body, two body punches and a hook. He just missed a fast enough jab. I wish you had told our viewers, so Mohammed, that hook. we had picked up the 14th round in progress and will go directly to the 50th without a break. Right, right. They just missed a wild uh, hook. And now he's holding me. He's deliberately holding me, stalking for rest. And as you can see, both of his eyes are puffed and swelled. And I don't think that uh, that incident near the rope did that. I think they were the punches that uh, bruised him, which is not an honor. I'm not bragging to bruise a person, but just explaining the uh, so-called foul. Well, the cut over his eye and his bruised face, I'm sure, didn't come from uh, a half a second on the ropes. There he just put his palm of his left hand in my face again, which could blind me if I'm not careful. I still don't understand why you couldn't put him away. Well, I tried, but he just wouldn't go, as best I can say. I just won. If I put him away in one round, it's bad. If I put him away in three rounds, it's bad. If I talk to him, it's bad. If I whip him clean, it's bad. And I'm just wrong if I do it and wrong if I don't. You really persecute. Well, not really. It's just everybody have a right to their own opinion. And I don't think that the newspapers and the editors of the whole papers know that the reporters are doing the job that they're doing because it's really unfair to the fans to come away distorting things just outright uh, with evil intentions. We've just spoken about 32 mouthfuls, each of which is subject to 32 different retorts. You realize it? I'm telling the truth, that's all. And if you tell the truth how on this show, if you defend me like you usually do, you will catch criticism too. And I'll say it for you. I have you never can. defended you. I have never gone against you. You defended me greatly when I fought George Chevalo. You stopped the punches. You showed the low blows. This man has hit me low. He has rabbit punched me. He has hit me on brakes. He has butted. He has put the palm of his glove on my face. And you haven't said nothing about that yet. I understand why. I think the pictures are speaking for themselves with regard to but the fouls. I don't personally think the fouls are a real issue in this fight. Your behavior pattern is portrayed by the American press a very definite issue as it relates to you your image I don't see that a man's nothing, privacy of worship is right to his own religion or a man's utilization of due process with regard to his and military it, posture before the government and I like to I say, don't see that they're involved and can, nobody has said they're can involved you box, and the press hasn't said can you involved. box all I will say is this you have your say if I'm gonna be judged by the American press which are white people mainly white press white people not the Negro then I think that if I'm going to be judged for talking to a man, then you would be awful, awful guilty if you were judged for the wrong and the things that you are doing every day and have been doing for the 400 years of the so-called Negro in America. In the meantime, a lot of people are now going to say you can't punch. You couldn't knock them out. That's all right. I could punch after Williams, but I can't punch now. They change every day. I don't pay no attention to them. But you have a lot of nerve to spend so much millions of dollars in press time and criticize me for talking. I wish all other people did to people was talk to them. I think what I'm doing now is worse than talking to them. You should be criticizing for whooping them. That's worse than talking. Why make such an itch over talking? That whooping is what you should be mad about. That's what you are mad about, the whooping. You're using the talking for an excuse. So, Howie, I don't want to get hot here on the show. No, oh, you got hot enough in the ring after the fight, you remember? I have to say, he's really a man, Howie. I got to give him to him. He kept fighting. He, he didn't quit. And 
I was surprised. The man's eyes were closed, but he still kept coming. He just wouldn't quit, and he took my best. I have to be a man and tell the truth. He took my best. Well, less than 30 seconds away from the end of the fight. He's hitting low now, Howard, but the film didn't show it exactly, but I didn't stop it or criticize it. There, I just hit him with a, a volley of punches. There, he's holding me and pull, pulling me over the rope and hitting me. He's hitting and holding, which the crowd is doing. And so the fight ended. An overwhelming victory for Muhammad Ali. We'll be back to find out about the champion's future right after this message.